Hello class, in this video we'll bring the enemy character into the game and we'll add the enemy character to follow our main character. As you can see these two cubes, we use it as an enemy and they are following the player and they cheese the player. Okay, and here's our player and we can um, create a cube as our enemy character and if you have enemy character model you can import the character as the enemy and bring it into the scene okay. so this is a cube we would like to use and here I have a, have a simple texture for it okay so this is the enemy and then on this cube you can just rename it as enemy one okay and go to the components and add a script so I'll add follow AI script this is the script you would use okay so once you have the script and bring it into the script folder in your assets folder All right and then you can load your script here so for the target, basically is um, the target that the character will follow, which is our first person controller. And my transform basically is the cube position. So just to bring itself onto the main transform. And then if you play, now you should see that the cube is following um, our character. Okay, so right now it's a bit too fast. Right, and if you think it's too fast, you can go back to the script, and you can just uh, change the time, uh, the speed in here. So basically, how the script works is when you apply the script to an object, it will add this object loop for the target object, and it will add the our object's position equal to the target object's position. And here's the speed. Here we have five. If we want to slow it down, for example, here if I put one and command S key to save the script. So now the cube should run much slower, right? One fifth of its original speed. And I can jump through it. All right, so this is how it works.